Howdy out there everyone today. I'm just gonna take a quick look at this used pickup I recently purchased uh, called Dragged Across Concrete. R written and directed, I believe, by um, the same gentleman who did um, Bone Tomahawk, which is one of my favorite Westerns, as well as Brawl in Cell Block 99. Uh, Craig Zoller, I think his name is. And, you know, he's drawn comparisons to Quentin Tarantino, and I think actually that's fair, but he's a, a more mature. Um, he tends not to wallow in this sort of juvenile, um, and he just seems to be a little more serious as a storyteller, um, which isn't to say he's necessarily better than Quentin Tarantino. I just find that he's, his sensibilities are a little more aligned with my own. And of course, the film uh, features uh, Mel Gibson, uh, Vince Vaughn, I believe Don Johnson's in it. Um, we have the general lady from uh, Dexter who played, uh, you know, uh, the sister of Dexter, I think Jennifer, I don't have my readers on, so I'll have to beg your forgiveness, but the, uh, the actress who played Dexter's sister in uh, Dexter, she is great as well. Um, it's just a fascinating uh, story. Basically, the story and the dialogue are what makes this thing uh, sing. Of course, Mel Gibson plays a racist cop, so not much of a stretch for him. But he is uh, he's good, believable, and I find the interaction between him and his partner, played by Vince Vaughn, to be very, um, it, just, it just rings true. Um, I think the, the film, while it might be a little long, I feel like uh, they might have been able to trim it up a, a tad. It's just a, a wonderful way to spend two and a half hours with some interesting characters uh, who say interesting things. And it's not predictable. There are some moments in it that really sort of come out of nowhere. Um, and I think on balance, it's, uh, it's just an excellent film. And I managed to pick this up used for about four bucks. And uh, definitely think it's uh, shelf worthy. It has a, uh, a, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful looking film, very, you know, expertly lensed. But I think the thing that, that most stands out about the movie is just the Cracker Jack dialogue. Um, this, this gentleman is a director to watch and I feel like his work has uh, just shown incredible promise. Uh, I would encourage anyone who has not seen um, you know, any of his films, quite frankly, even Brawl and Cell Block 99 is an interesting sort of throwback. It didn't work for me as well as his other two, but I definitely can see his talent even behind that film. Uh, this, this guy, if he continues to work, I think he's going to just continue to make interesting movies, um, and the world is a better place for it. So on that note, I just hope everyone out there is well. Please do take care, stay safe, be kind keep watching good cinema like trying to cross concrete take care